There's a game that caught my eye the other night, and I had the chance, the free time, to be able to play through the entire demo of it, and that game is Until Then. This is a Filipino game, indie game, that is about a group of, I guess high schoolers would be the equivalent, who are going through their year, kind of existing as cool little goobers, and then some sci-fi type stuff happens. To me, it is very uh, Valhalla-esque, where you have this kind of normal situation, uh, you know, a bartender or a high school student, but they are now put into a much more bizarre situation, and the characters have to undergo the bizarre situation. And in Valhalla's case, you have the events of Valhalla, uh, with all the different characters and stuff, and in this case, you are you have some sci-fi elements regarding time and timelines and convergences, which is amazing to see. There's other things that make me very interested about this game, and that's what I'm going to spend the course of this video to talk about. Some things that I think are really cool concepts, and why I think when this game releases, it's definitely going to be something I'm going to want to cover on the channel. So, no more delay, let's get it right into this. I should preface here, this is all going to be my opinion. There is no, like, objective facts in any regards here. It's, I think this game looks cool. I hope you all go check it out. It's not really me sitting here going, this game is objectively the best release of the year. I think that's silly uh, to say stuff like that. But it's definitely something I'm excited about. And there's a lot of reasons for this. One of the reasons, as I mentioned in the preface, it's a lot like Valhalla. The writing is very naturalistic. It's very realistic. I could see it. I could feel it. The, that, that no real effort was spared in regards to making the characters seem human. The characters have well-written and distinguished personalities that don't exactly feel like a generic archetype, and we love seeing that type of writing. It makes, them, makes us care more for these characters. There's a lot of touching scenes in the demo that, I mean, it's a demo. It's the, the intro of the game, and we've already gotten several parts where we're able to understand every single one of these characters, at least to a surface level, and their motives and interconnectivities with each other, and that's really nice writing. On top of the writing, well, there's other things to talk about, but the reason I, I harp on the writing is because it is a VN at its core. Until then, really is much like Valhalla at its core VN with some side mini games and side activities. In Valhalla's case, you have the making of the drinks, uh, and in this game's case, you have the physical walking around of the map. Um, and that is why the writing is so important. And the writing being so good is something that's definitely, for me, keeping me interested. But bar that, it's not like it's just wordplay. Uh, it's not like it's just a great book unveiling itself before us. There's also a lot of other cool aspects. I think the game does a really good job of utilizing the fact that it's a game in some key aspects. You have, whether it be the innovative start that the game starts with, I mean, using the start button as an alarm clock, it's hilarious, it's great, it's showing that they're more aware of what they can play around with. But you also have the subtle hinting that something is wrong in the backdrops of stuff like newspapers that you see on your phone, or in the backdrops of just display items in the back seats of the scenery. Actually, while I'm on the scenery, the scenery is amazing, and does a really good job of making the world feel lived in, even though it's mostly on a 2D scale. Like, yes, the game isn't tricking you into thinking that it's a truly 3D, fully fleshed out environment, but it is doing a good job of making this 2D environment feel a lot better than, you know, Super Mario Wii. It doesn't feel flat, it feels dimensioned, and that's really nice. It, it just makes it more enjoyable to play. You know, like it, it, you have the good writing, and then you have good scenery, and then you have good map design, you have good concepts. I mean, I don't know if I've gotten to the concepts yet. This video is not scripted very evidently from the fact that I'm just kind of rambling about this game. Um, the, the concepts of, of just this te this dude who is going through his high school year, he's kind of, I'm not, he's a, kind of an idiot in many of the ways. Um, but him meeting a friend and then suddenly sci-fi cosmic weirdery happens with timelines and stuff and deja vu and memories and faux pas. I love to see it. The idea of a distorted normality is an amazing concept when done right. And I do really trust the devs here to pull this concept off right. I know I'm just rambling about a game and for some people that might be a bit unprofessional or maybe that's not the type of YouTube content they want to see. But the reason I put this video in this style is because I feel like 
when expressing opinions on something, the, you should really just express your opinions. Organized, structured scripts for opinions are silly, in my opinion. And I felt like just telling you all, like being able to be like, ah, oh, here's me ranting about this game, is more of an adequate show of, of just how much this game looks interesting to me and how much I genuinely feel about it, rather than if I were to pull up with some 3,000, 4,000 worded script where I try to eloquently capture every single articulate detail noticed in the game. But either way, I do hope you all are interested in this game as I am, or at least go and check it out. See the demo. The demo is free. Go play it for five minutes. I know not all of us have free time. I particularly know that. But at the end of the day, I'm really excited for this game, and I hope some of you are as well. But until it releases, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you.